Podcast. You know, I'm in here in my mobile shop, and I'm wondering what would happen. I'm actually uh, adding a fingerprint sensor to the uh, i3 controller, or the i controller. You know what I'm talking about. But I'm wondering what would happen if I filled this with silicone. Would it make it waterproof? I mean, I know this, this is the, uh, right here is a, basically a potentiometer, which is gonna control your speed. So I can't silicone that part. And it looks like the circuit board, well, the, obviously the circuit board goes behind it because it, the buttons are right here. So I can't totally, totally silicone it. But I wonder if that would help once it dries, looks like there's a slight coating on it already, but once it dries, if it helps seal this up from just, you know, typical, you know, uh, splashes, you know, incidental stuff. Cause I left this out one time and it got a little uh, wet and it fogged up in here. Um, so I just sprayed it real deep with alcohol. If you ever get anything like that wet, any electronic, Spray it with rubbing alcohol like deep, real deep, and don't try to turn it on. Just let it evaporate, give it a couple days, and it'll dry out whatever the water has damaged, so to speak. It's your best chance. I used to restore a lot of iPhones like that. So I'm gonna put some silicone in this thing. I uh, have clear, but it's raining. I don't feel like walking to my house to go get the clear, and you won't see it anyway. So I'm gonna use this white silicone, I wanna stuff it full of silicone anywhere where there's no moving parts and see how it behaves out in the rain. So it's a little experiment, let's try it. I don't know what it's looking like at the moment. It's full of silicone, staying away from the part that moves here, right in there. It's so like I said, it's not a 100% thing, but we'll see how it works out. I think it'll be better than nothing. I turned off the power because I wanted to dry out before I send power to it because obviously it's kind of wet being silicone and all. So I'd suggest let it dry out really good before you uh, try it, but we'll see how it goes. We're gonna give it a day to dry out. It's raining anyway, I won't be riding. So uh, maybe it's just an added layer of protection. I'm also looking at getting one of those cases that go around it. I'm in the works of that, but this is more like an experiment. Let's see how it goes. Well, I've been riding this thing all day with it full of silicone. Not a problem. Uh, it's not raining or wet. I'm not sure I want to forcibly test that. But uh, at least it's not messing up. So I think it's a good idea if you ever have to take that off, pump a little uh, silicone in there. Probably clear would be best into your uh, i3 controller. And the best thing would be to get one of those uh, covers that go all the way around and encase it. But probably the next best thing is just to seal up all the, the little joints and stuff like that. You can't fully seal it because of that moving uh, throttle, but I think it's a good idea. So I'll keep you posted. But right now I say it's a go. The scooter works fine, been riding it all day. No problems, take care. Shalom. Hey, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace. So I'm not going to worry about cleaning that up. So I'm going to let it dry like that and I'll remove it there. It does get messier than it already is. Well, I am in the back of Spike, the RV, and I am about to take the Dualtron out to test the water resistance of the eye controller in the rain. So there won't be any splashes from a garden hose. We're going to go on a ride. I'm going to get nice and soaked and, uh, test it out to see if the water forms in there. Gonna mail out a few kick gas shirts today. You can get those at www.kickgasscooters.com. Show some love, buy a shirt. They're really good material too. They're not um, just cotton. They're like a dry fit type of style of shirt. So they're really cool. Anyway, let's get into the rain. These sensors can be kind of finicky when it's wet. Oh, there it goes. So what do you guys think of my uh, 
modded fender here. I extended it. Does anybody know what I extended it with? Who can tell me what that is? Drop it in the comments. This piece right here. What is that? All right, let's go for a little ride and see how this thing does with its silicone inside of it. See if it'll fog up or otherwise malfunction. still be on, so let's go.
right, well, it's still going. So we'll do a follow-up later to see how it all lasted. But so far, so good. The eye controller is, uh, doesn't even look like it's phased at all. I think this is the most vulnerable part of the scooter when it gets wet. So we'll see how it lasts. Shalom.